Hey, it's Adam Hike. Welcome back to this free training series I've put together for you on how to improve your body for optimal performance out on the course. Now in the last training, I walked you through identifying the king of the golf swing. Aaron and I, my co-host, we, we performed three different assessments for you so you can identify the activity level and engagement of this region of your body. And then we walked you through five key exercises to help strengthen and awaken that aspect of your body so that it can really be a key player in your golf swing. And like I said before, chances are it's probably not even engaged. So if you missed that training, definitely go back and check that out. You can do so by checking out the, by clicking the tab above this video. So today we're going to focus on power exercises. So I've got five more exercises for you to help you deliver extraordinary power, especially off the tee. Now I'm going to cut to the chase. We're going to get right into this video. I've already pre-recorded these exercises for you and I've provided another bonus PDF below this video so that you can print out and use a little cheat sheet for next time you do some performance training for your golf game. I hope you enjoy this. As always, please feel free to leave comments and questions below so I can help better serve you and your game. Let's get into it. The first exercise here, uh, might as well hop right into them here. We're going to step back. So I've got this anchor about you know, chest height, shoulder height. I'm going to sit down, square my feet up, and I'm going to do a single arm row. Driving my elbows back, okay, nice and smooth. Notice how I minimize my hip rotation, maximize my shoulder rotation, so I increase the potential or separation. That helps us build power during the golf swing. If you want to enhance this move, you can add the reverse lunge and then rotate. So now I've really stabilized the lower body and now I'm maximizing the upper body mobility. So I'm getting a good rotation, good separation there on that move. Perform about 15 to 20 reps of those on each side. Okay, nice smooth alternating back and forth. It's a great way to build some core strength, but also that upper back to help improve our posture as well. Second exercise is a core twist. So I'm just gonna grab both handles. Depending on your resistance, you may wanna loop one through and walk away so it's not as tight. I'm gonna sever my feet just about, you know, five, four iron width. And I'm gonna do my nice little rotations with. Nice control. Notice how the band stays right in front of my chest the whole time. I'm not just moving my arms. I'm getting a nice big rotation with my whole shoulders, power and getting that nice pivot. Make sure you perform this on each side. Again, looking for that 15 to 20 reps. Third exercise here for you. I'm going to take the band off and then I want you to just wrap it up. Going quick here, okay? I've got that PDF down below that you can print out and use as a reference when you go to the gym or when you perform this workout at home. So again, I've got my nice five to forearm posture here. Arms are out in front, and then I'm just gonna rotate one arm away. So good strengthening upper exercise for the upper back and shoulders. I'm gonna pretend this lower arm's going towards my ball, and then I'm forcing that rotation. It's also forcing me to maintain neutral spine angle. I know a lot of us have that seat posture, so we're slouched, which means we can't get that full rotation during the backswing. So by pulling that band back, I'm having to open up my chest and shoulder, maintaining that neutral posture, and I'm really able to get that full rotation. Ideally, you're gonna get that back hand, you know, perpendicular to the front one, right? So it's going, or uh, I mean, parallel to the front one. So it's a nice straight line, increasing that rotary motion. Again, lower body stable. Feel free to step it up with that lunge. Get that, again, more stability underfoot, and increasing that differential between the upper and lower segments. The fourth exercise for you today, stand on your band, okay, depending on how tight the band is, you may need to narrow your stance or widen the stance, pull that band up. We're going to squat down, sitting back into your heels, chest is up, stand up and then press one arm. Very important for all of these movements to find that nice dynamic fluid movement pattern, alternating arms up overhead, obviously the squat there, you know, build up those leg muscles, which are the, the powerhouse of the golf swing certainly help us excel off the ground, increasing that distance. The final exercise for you today, you're going to need a higher anchor point. If you're doing these on a, on a door, I'll just use the top here of the cable. Get a little load here so the band doesn't move. 
and this is a wood chop, okay? Now, on the PDF, and here in this demonstration, I'm going to show you the descending blow. So again, similar to the core rotation or core twist, both hands here. And this, these are excellent movements to get that nice dynamic fluid motion, which will help carry over into your golf swing by building that fluid transfer of power through the sequence. Now, again, like I said, the descending blow is in the PDF. It has that demonstration. I'm going to show you the kind of ascending blow, though, too. So you can anchor it low and come up. Right? So you can add a little variety there. It's still a great way to power from the back leg. You can really feel this one exploding from the ground up as you release that power. Be sure to be aware of that unwind or negative aspect of the movement. Don't just get whipped back down to the floor. Again, 15 to 20 reps of each exercise. Make sure that's on each side. And I guarantee if you do those today, that your next round, you'll feel a little bit more power in your game. All right, well, there you have it. So those are the five key exercises utilizing a resistance band, which is a great strength tool to help empower your body to explode the ball off the tee next time you play. Try those moves out. Use that little cheat sheet to your advantage and definitely uh, impress those friends next time, uh, next time you're out and about. Coming up in the next training video, I'm going to walk you through a few key core strength exercises to help you not only tighten that midsection, shredding your six pack, but also improve your golf swing by giving you better control over your body. I look forward to seeing you in a few days in that training, and I look forward to reading your comments and questions below. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you soon.